So, Iman and Nadine, um, we're going to move on to our topic number two, and that's going to be social media and social media kindness day, which is coming up. So, social media kindness day, I think, is really important because one, social media is inescapable. It is absolutely everywhere. Um, whether you use it for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be, it seems to be just there and it's on all the adverts. Every brand we see has got a social media aspect to it. So it's inescapable. So why do you think Social Media Kindness Day is important? Um, I think because you said that social media is um, inescapable, um, there's also a lot of, as well as like the positive side, there's also a lot of negativity. So I think, um, you know, having a dedicated day to just celebrating kindness um, for everyone on social media, it's really important and you can take a lot from that. Absolutely. So you mentioned the positives yeah. in there. What are the positives? What are the positives of social media? Um, making like new friends, chatting with people online, because usually like after school, like, you can just talk with your friends, like message, FaceTime, all of that, yeah. It absolutely, so it connects us all, doesn't it? Yeah. Whether you live two miles away, whether you go to the same school, whether you didn't see them since primary school, you can probably use some form of social media that connects you all. Or you could live in a completely different country, halfway across the world, you can pretty much FaceTime them and you're pretty much with them. So it has so many positives, but there's also negatives. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and there's definitely quite a few negatives to social media. So what do you think are the negatives? Um, I think um, there's like the general idea of being able to comment whatever you want, speak your mind, but you know, there's like an extent of what you can say. Um, there's a limit, uh, you know, there's um, really negative comments that people can make and they can make hateful posts about you and, you know, just spreading hate all around in general. Why do you, why do you think that happens online? Um, I think it's because there's no restrictions usually and because you're behind the screen they can't see who you are like if you make a like, um, like a profile online and you don't put your name on it and you don't put any pictures you could easily make a comment about someone like and they would not know who you are so you easily think you could get away with it absolutely it's like that lack of accountability isn't it it's that that lack of seeing who's doing it makes people feel like they've got like an invisibility cloak and they can just say whatever they want whether it's hateful or not. And unfortunately, a lot of the time, it can be hateful because they can just say it without a second thought. Yeah. Whereas they wouldn't dare to say it in, in real life. Yeah. Because probably they don't actually mean it. And two, there's no accountability to it. Yeah. Um, do we think social media is addictive? Yes. Definitely. Go on, talk to me. Um, I think it can be really addictive um, to the opinions you have, to the things you wear, the things you do. And I think I'm going to go and say that I think sometimes social media really controls your mindset. Definitely. Um, I think when you see someone like an influencer who's doing something, you want to follow the trend and you also want to be like that. And, you know, that's how just like the whole cycle continues and everything. Is that always negative? It can be. Okay. When, it um, well, say there is an influencer who you do look up to sometimes and they make um, a comment or they make a post that can you know, lead to hateful impacts and leave a negative effect on things. But because it's someone that you uh, look up to and someone you, like, you know, you admire, you're, you're going to, like, push it away. You're going to dismiss it and, you know, you're going to agree with what they say. So, yeah. A absolutely great point, by the way, man. Do we think it's all completely true what we see on social media? No. Go on, Nadine, what do you think? Um, I think because social media is behind a screen and all this technology nowadays, you can easily like, m like turn anything, Photoshop, edit, make anything like that is obviously not real, real and make it look real, even though it's not. Yeah. I think I, I completely agree with you, by the way. I think what's portrayed on social media often isn't quite what's happening yeah. in real life. Mm, and yeah. therefore, what maybe we see or aspire to, like you said, or admire sometimes isn't actually what is going on whether it's body image whether it's uh wealth whether it's um the actual thing we're looking at um can often be a little bit of a smoke screen to what's actually happening therefore what I, we want to maybe aspire to is unachievable because it's just completely false and therefore there's then a complete misalignment with well, what i actually want to what's going on in life and i think it's important to realize that that sometimes what we're looking at 
might not take. be. Yeah, because mm. like you said, Dean, there's loads of like software out there that you can change pretty much everything that you see to online. To make it look real. Yeah, yeah, exactly, which, again, isn't going to be great for us viewers <laughs> because it's it's fake, yeah? Um, I've also seen recently quite a lot of it on challenges. Trend, and challenges yes. and trends and all these things, whether it's TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. So, go on, you guys talk to me about challenges. Um, I think everyone does like challenges and trends to, like, to hop on it, make, and also FOMO, like fear of missing out. <laughs> FOMO. <laughs> yeah. Um, you want to be like the others, you want to fit in and you want to like try it. So a lot of people get like on the trends, especially during COVID when nobody was outside, everyone was on the, like, their phones. There was a lot of trends like there, like a long time ago, there was the mannequin challenge, the ice bucket challenge. Are they are they all negative? Are they all bad? No. no. Go on. Well, um, I think there are some challenges that you know they can be really um, inclusive and it can make everyone like at least smile or you know you can get some entertainment out of it and a positive outcome, right? So yeah. the, the ALS had an actual positive purpose. That yeah. was that was the idea of it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good point. Um, but then. I guess like that then there's also a negative with it what what, what would be the negative of, of challenges just like Nadine said the fear of missing out um you know when there's a challenge that you can't do or you're restricted to do or something um you get that like fear or anxiety that you know my friends are doing this but you know I'm not able to do it so you don't really have a way of communicating with your friends about it or getting like you know a laugh out of it because you can't relate to it so because you can't relate to something you can't like really speak about it you're not a part of the trend or anything and it's really you know i think it really does have an impact on your mindset like i'm not part of it so yeah yeah no re really good points uh you two okay so i want you to imagine something someone walks into this room in a minute and they sit there and they've never been on planet earth before and they're in year 10 and they're about to pick up a phone and use social media for the first time i want you to give them four bits of advice for being safe on social media? Um, definitely private. private um, maybe turn your location off because there's a lot of apps. For example, Snapchat, if you don't have ghost mode on, anyone and everyone can see where you are exactly okay. and where you live. So understanding that like your location settings and your settings can support you and keep you safe. Okay, yeah. We speak about safety from a, um, like a, a physical point of view, safety and, and knowing you are in the world, but safety as well as keeping yourself self away from harm online or bullying. What else, what other bits of advice could you give? Um, I'd say restrict your comments um, because you will get sometimes hate on social media and because there are some people like that out there. And, you know, the best thing to stay away from it is restricting your comment section, maybe to some people who, you know, you trust, who you know will, um, you know, send only positive feedback or something yeah um or you can just completely turn it off and you won't receive any hate yeah nice um no really really good um bits of advice there so social media kind of stay has been designed for a reason because without a doubt i agree it's fantastic and there's so many fantastic elements to social media and again we spoke about it's inescapable i'd probably say 90 percent of us use it every day right yeah. Yeah. if just ask you a question nadine how long do you spend on your phone each day Probably about like six, seven hours. That's a long time. I reckon Jolene might be just as much, to be fair. Um, Nine she's hours. definitely more. Oh my <laughs> yeah. goodness me. So we know that it's, again, addictive. Yeah. yeah. When we go through and we see these cool things and we get a like or a view, but a dopamine gets released in the brain and we <laughs> feel good about ourselves. So it has positives. And the, the purpose of the day, social media kind of stays, is to make sure we use it in the right way and spread kindness and, and keep it being a happy place for everybody. Um. So how can we do that? How can we do that? I think um, for Social Media Kindness Day, we could maybe everyone like post something good about each other just to spread it like more. Yeah. Okay. I think, um, well, I spoke about this before with the others. With me and my friends, we have this little thing where we will do random appreciation posts for each other, you know, just posting each other, um, uh, you know, for fun and everything. And yeah just you know that's just nice that's really nice and i think at the end of the day we've got to use it in the right way to support each other and um there can't be enough kind there can't be enough kindness out there can there yeah, yeah we can we need to realize that we just need to be kind to each other and yeah. whether that's in person yeah or whether it's on social media yeah. and making it a positive and happy and, and kind place um 
because if we're using this for nine hours a day, for example, like him on, <laughs> then it needs to be yeah. majority positive, doesn't it? All of it, spend our time um, in the right way.